Hi guys, welcome to the next video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to install Eclipse and try to run a Java application on the Apple M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch baseline model. So just follow me. At first, we are going to download and install Eclipse as always in my videos. So I'm going through the whole process of downloading and installing it. All right, so what do we get here? Eclipse installer now includes a JRE for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. It does not really say anything specific about the new ARM models. So I don't want to need. Um, I'm not sure if there is anything available um, anyways, so I'm just going to download it and trying to install it. If you do have questions about which studio for Mac, which studio code, uh, Android Studio, Docker, uh, and many more, please watch my latest videos where I covered those topics already. So this video is only and will only be covering Eclipse and Java development. All right, the download is completed, so let's unpack the DMG and start the installer. All right. So Eclipse installer is popping up, spinning wheel there. So kind of curious what happens next. All right. So the installer seems to be working. Uh, for Java developers, yeah, fine. Uh, Java 11, nothing installed um, prior to this video regarding to Java. So um, I guess now it is downloading something or isn't it? Hmm. It says install, okay. So I will come back when the install process is completed. All right, I hope I can uh, increase the installation speed. I have downloaded the package from Eclipse. I hope I can cancel the installation and go with this package right now. So I'll try it and see what will happen. That is looking much better. So trying to open Eclipse now, uh, pronunciation. It's not the best at the moment. Okay, open. And that should do the trick or, or not. So I'm not sure if... It seems that you cannot open Eclipse. And that will be a deal breaker. So just head back to Safari, Eclipse IDE for M1 Apple. So just have a look at Reddit. If there is any confirmation about that, nothing really to confirm that. The Eclipse installer 2012 M1 now includes what is that? I have no idea if that is related to the Apple M1 or just something else. Okay, I'm just going to download this once more. I think. Okay, so like this file is now valid. I don't want to install the complete package to be honest. But that file could definitely not be found. Okay, come on. Let's go for this one. Okay, it's also not available. Okay, just one more time. Okay, so as it seems right now, uh, you cannot start Eclipse on Apple M1 machines. Um, I'm pretty sure I have downloaded the right version, even though it's, it's stating uh, 64 bits for, for Intel Max, it should be running with Rosetta 2, but as you have seen, 
the application is closed down immediately after starting. So that is the first app I have encountered which doesn't even start. So guys, keep that in mind if you're looking for an Apple M1 powered machine right now that Eclipse will probably not work at the moment. So as I said in the previous videos, if you rely on those machines, uh, just wait until there is appropriate updates for the software or even a second generation M2 chip. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you learned something. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.